Hey there, Pamela DeRue Smith, Red Fox. I want to address getting fit and being healthy and living your best life from a little bit of a different angle. I talk a lot about food and I talk a lot about eating keto and those who know me know I'm fairly disciplined and pretty strict. And yet, what a lot of people don't know is that sometimes it's inevitable or important or absolutely paramount to cheat in your life. Okay, so I'm gonna to get to that in just one second. So I wanna say hello, I wanna say welcome, and if you have not heard of me before, um, I am Red Fox. I am a former bodybuilder. I have been a trainer for over 20 years. I am a mom of four kids of my own and two of my husbands, so four plus two is what I like to say. And um, they're all grown all six of them at this point. So I'm gonna move my hair just a little bit because you know, you need something good to look at. <laughs> so look, it is important to cheat in your life. So what does that mean? Oh my gosh, cheat. A health and wellness person who's been doing this forever is telling you to cheat. What do I mean by that? So look, it's important in our lives to play hooky from work every once in a while. It's important for a mental health day. I want to tell you, I have a bunch of millennial kids and they have all taught me, workaholic me, to calm down, to take a break and to let it go once in a while. In fact, I need to start doing it on a regular basis. Why? One of the hugest culprits with our, our weight gain, with inflammation, with all kinds of issues with our health, and I don't just mean our body fat percentage, I don't just mean our size, with our actual health, it's important to understand what cortisol does in our bodies. Cortisol makes us go crazy. And so literally mentally, it like starts blocking up some things in our brains because we get laser focused on survival mode and uh, task, 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 task. And we forget the enjoyment part of our lives. Our lives are supposed to be about love, peace, enjoyment, joy, uh, fulfillment. And if we're so busy going, 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 doing, 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 and having these strict uh, restraints upon ourselves, we don't ever get to that point. Cortisol is the culprit of that. It is the byproduct of living that kind of life. I have recently moved. Um, my kids are all grown and flew the nest. And so I and my husband, Jim, have recently moved up into the mountains of North Carolina. We love it. And one of the best things that we love it for is all of the playtime we get to have. We get to go kayaking, we get to go camping, we get to go hiking. We can do those things and make money at the same time and a lot of times. And yet, we get to spend some time with our kids that we wouldn't normally get to spend time with. We get to just uh, relax and enjoy our lives a little bit. A little bit. And it's something that I have, through the years, not been the best at. I. I've always worked. I've always worked really, really hard. Uh, raising four plus two kids is not simple. It's not easy, right? And stress becomes a very huge part of that life. I didn't know how to handle the stress. I didn't know how to alleviate it. And playtime as an adult is one of the best ways to do it. There's another way about meditation. And if you want to know information about that, I have meditation videos on here. And uh, hit you know, so hit the subscribe button. I do have those things, but playtime is really important. We're to laugh and joke and tease and have fun and relax and let it go, let go of all the have tos in our lives, and sometimes that includes our food. So every once in a while, we need to allow ourselves to just not stress about what it is that we eat, what it is that we're putting in our mouths. Now, does that mean we go crazy? No, I still, um, I still 90% of the time, 85 to 90% of my life is about making sure I'm 
choosing the right foods, the right um, timings, the right intermittent fastings, the right actual fastings for three or four days. And yet, it's really important to allow yourself, and everyone is gonna be different, but allow yourself the break. What does the break mean to you? Does it mean you have a little bit of sugar? Ooh, I, I'm not a sugar, I don't want a lot of sugar in my life. I have been, I'm a former uh, pre-diabetes, and so I don't want a lot of that in my life. And yet, what does it mean? Does it mean you go out and, and relax and have a date night and drink some wine? Does it mean you have um, rice and quinoa, have a rice bowl at Chipotle? Is that what it means? So you need to choose what it is that you need to relax with. I can tell you right now, women need to do this for two to three days every single month right before the menstrual cycle. Sorry, guys. I know I'm talking about the period thing. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. Life. I'm 50. I talk about life. So it's really important to do that. Sweet potatoes, uh, quinoa, um, jasmine rice. Um, uh, what else can we have? We can have, um, you know, wild grain rice. You know, those those regular complex carbs. We can put those into our our cycle, and it is important to. Um, to allow yourself a few days of that. It could be mean it could be mean that you may have a bunch of fruit smoothies for a few days. So go ahead, women, especially once a month, right before your period. And if you don't get a period anymore, then you just stick it on the calendar. For these three days, I'm going to have a hundred to two hundred uh carbs. Maybe that's the time you go have a beer with your spouse or a glass of wine while he has a beer. Believe me, he wants you to relax a little bit and vice versa. You know, I love it when Jim relaxes with me and we laugh and we cut up, cut it up and just, just chill out for a while. I absolutely love it. And what that does is it lowers the inflammation, it lowers the cortisol in your body running around rampant and it allows you to expand. I'll tell you right now, um, my job, create. I have to have a lot of creativity in my job. And so it's important to be able to relax enough to let the creative juices flow. You can't be running from a lion or a tiger and be creative at the same time. You either focus over here or you focus over there. You can't do both. And I don't care how talented and multitasked you are, and I used to be one of those people that said that all the time, it is important that you've got to let go. Um, I would say do it once or twice a week. You gotta let go. You've got to allow yourself the break, either with some food or with activity. It's really important to allow yourself to go play. What do you enjoy? Jim and I love hiking, camping, and kayaking. We love really anything outdoors. So that's what we choose to do. What do you want to do? What do you want more of in your life that you are restricting yourself from saying, well, I can't do that, I can't have that, I can't go be that because X, Y, and Z. You fill in the blank. All of us have some stuff that we would love to go do, but we are choosing not to, and we're blaming circumstances. It's not the circumstances. It's you making a decision. So I'm here to let you know and give you permission to go make the decision to get the playtime in. Who learns best? Who's the fastest learners on this planet? Who's the most creative on this planet? Anyone? Any guesses at all? I'm, I'm sure that you're guessing and you've already told me. Kids! Kids are the best at learning. They're the, the second languages, third languages, um, how to do anything. They are the fastest at learning how to do it. Why? Because they play. They have imaginations. They allow themselves to run wild. They put capes on and pretend they're Superman and Wonder Woman. They go have fun. They pretend, they enjoy, they have fun. And it's only when we tell them to straighten up and act your age and, 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 and fly right, when we take that, we literally steal that joy from them so that they can fit in and so that they can toe the line and sit in the classroom in an appropriate way. 
Honestly, I did that with my kids and I actually regret it tremendously. I got better and better with each one of my kids. And it's time that we do that for ourselves. It's time we learn how to play. It's time we learn how to activate our imagination so that we can get creative within our lives, so that we can make money a different way, so that we can play and make money at the same time. <sighs> Isn't that a novel idea? So that I can wear my flannels and my and my sweats and, and my tennis shoes and still make money and still enjoy and have and have peace and and admiration and love and creativity in my life. It's one of the healthiest things that you can do. What good is it if I'm very strict with how I eat and I'm actually perfect with it and yet cortisol is running rampant in my system? I know for a fact because I did this. I know for a fact that it does me no good whatsoever. So allow yourself to relax. Allow yourself, and I don't mean just drinking wine and watching TV. I'm not sure that that's totally relaxing. I know it feels relaxing at the moment. I get it. And yet, I'm talking about, do you like to do pottery? Do you like to draw? Go take an art class. Go join a meetup. Go um, go meet some people that have the same likes as you and go do some things that you would enjoy learning. Uh, photography classes, do it. Go enjoy and have fun. There's lots of meetups, so don't tell me that you can't afford it. I did meetups for photography for a few years because I enjoyed learning how to take a better picture. I didn't do it for any reason except my own fortitude. I wanted to do something for me that didn't involve exhausting myself in the weight room. Imagine that. I know. I much prefer the weight room. However, I enjoy a camera too. And I enjoy kayaking. And I enjoy being able to spend time walking around an art district up here that we absolutely love. So figure out what it is that you love and go take action on that and go do something. I know, even if you've got kids, go spend time away from those kids developing you, your likes, your wants, your desires, your wishes, your what would make you more fun. Your kids want you more fun. I can guarantee that. All right, this is Pamela DeRue Smith saying go be healthy. And yes, I eat keto. I teach keto. And uh, redfoxketotraining.com is what you need to look for. When you look for redfoxketotraining.com, you'll find a lot of free information. You'll also find a, a program that you can join. Meal plans, videos, how-tos, trip-ups, and videos like this one. All right, Pamela DeRue Smith, love you guys. Go be healthy. Bye.